So which makes more sense? Um, going down next door, paying for, let's say, a pretzel, and then after the transaction is made, all the resources are accounted for, and all the liabilities have been paid for, and the assets surpassed it. And then whatever profit is made goes to wherever the owner wants it to go or asking permission to go down and get this from the owner will then plan out the whole accounting procedure the whole idea of where each liability will be paid for and what's going to happen after the payment has been made and then after all these calculations are made, considering I'm not the only one who's asking for this, and he has to deal with the same thing when it comes to getting these resources himself, that he'll, you know, get as a liability and I'll have to deal with as well. And then after all that's said and done, I go downstairs and get that resource, let's say if it's a pretzel. Which one seems a lot more simple? I don't know about you, but the first one seems a lot more simple. And that's sort of my big issue with central planning. And while I think that a lot of terms on central planning seem more complex than they need to be, the best way to describe it is accounting for something that hasn't yet happened. And then having a transaction actually appear. So it's top bottom instead of bottom up. Where in many ways you can say that capitalism, well, free market capitalists tend to favor it. They usually don't favor state capitalism. That is to say that when an idea goes from a socio-economic standpoint to a socio-political standpoint, that all of a sudden its very nature changes. You won't believe how much people dissed on anarchism because they say that words have archons in them or that advertising is an archon or you know, parent relationships are an archon. Or better yet, this is one that's kind of rich, uh, that computer programming, the fact that we rely on a central server to get to where we want, which usually deals with an ISP, Internet Service Provider, that that's an archon in and of itself. Well, anarchism is supposed to be just political in a certain degree. I don't really see a lot of anarchists having a problem with the food web not being the replacer of the food chain. But I guess that's the nature of reality. Which brings me to the New World Order and why I don't believe this conspiracy. Now, the New World Order is very popular on the internet, and surprisingly, if you actually went to a Christian church, it's also popular amongst many religious institutions as a way to diss the Illuminati, Roman Catholic Church, and all these other social pillars, including the legal system and the state. I'd say that there's something afoot from the state. The this organization, Illuminati and the state and a bunch of corporations are planning this new world order the, and the merging of economies. And a lot of factual stuff like stuff that Bush actually said and some things that may or may not be in the works, including transportation throughout North America, which and the merging of the currencies to make some sort of North American currency. 
These are all stuff that are true. But when you put it together, it's bullshit. Want to know why? Well, a lot of it has to do with the obvious fact that there was another conspiracy a long time ago. And this was something that we all know by now. We've been taught it in global history, United States history. We've been taught this shit since before we even met an educational criteria that even meant something. And at this point, we should all know what it is. It lasted about a decade long. I believe it or not, when this conspiracy happened in that nation, nobody knew what was going on. The only people that knew were the intellectuals, not the celebrities, not a bunch of idiots on the web, just certain intellectuals actually knew about this and their involvement was crazy. And when you look at that and then look at this, it's quite embarrassing. And in general, quite stupid. Because when I think about something that's a true conspiracy, a true plan for a new world, I think about something with a decent motive that matches people's corruption. And when I look at this con that conspiracy all the way back then, that conspiracy had a real intent. In fact, it was written in a book by the person who wanted this conspiracy to happen. And better yet, not only was this something with a nice motive, but the intent, the way they planned this shit out was pretty decent until near the end where they tried to invade a place that shouldn't have been invaded so why is it that the current one that's been in the works for much longer and has a strange intent a strange motive is known by idiots around the web and celebrities that should probably be dead by now and corporations that and politicians that are mediocre and petty yet this still remains could someone tell me that because I really want to know regardless this has been Leon uh, and I hope you enjoy this series of platitudes.